Okay, my name is Amber St. Clair and I teach first grade here at Flint Hill Elementary School and I've taught 14 years. We use the active board on a daily basis. We have the four computers in our classroom. Um, I check out the iPads at least once a week um, to use within our classroom. We check out the active votes. Um, I didn't have them today, but we also use the active slate. Their engagement levels is so different compared to when you don't have the active board. They're always anticipating what's going to happen next. I can click on a word and it'll pop up a song, or I can click on a picture of Annie and Moby and we pop up Brain Pop. Um, then I bring the centers in with the iPads and they would rather do that than paper and pencil practicing their math facts. Mm -hmm. They practice their flashcard math facts on the iPad. I had the opportunity to have an active board last year at Palmer Stone, so this is my second year. I'm finding that I know so much more now, so I'm taking the basics that I had last year and I'm adding to them, because I know now how to link to an, a website or add the active vote questions, so I'm improving the ones I made last year. Oh. I actually enjoy making them. I, I enjoy finding the, um, typing in the text and then adding the graphics. I usually the graphics from either the shared resources or from print shop. Um, sometimes I'll Google images and import them. Um, I just find that I, my lessons are so well prepared beforehand because I can put everything I need into it ahead of time. So the lesson I think flows better because it's thought out from start to finish because I have all my materials um, prepared. And I think it's neater because the handwriting is all in text usually when I type it ahead of time. So. Okay. I like making. I don't find it kind of, you know, a burden or anything. It's something I enjoy doing, making. And I can easily take, if we didn't finish something from today, I can easily copy and paste it into the flip chart for tomorrow or just go back to the pages we didn't cover today mm. and review or add to. If I saw that something, you know, they didn't understand today, I can add a slide or a page. Like this year I've added a lot of music um, to the slides. I didn't, I didn't ever think about adding music last year, but now I go to YouTube and SchoolTube and add those songs and try to find a song for all the concepts. You'll hear them humming songs later on. We, we did a contraction song earlier, and you'll hear them humming the contraction song, or they'll request, can we listen to the subtraction song that we did yesterday, or they'll make requests about them, because they enjoy them, and you'll see them just be bopping to the music. and. They're so engaging. The kids love them. I mean, they. I can find um, apps. We're adding more and more apps, so they're getting more. Um, I, the kids are more independent during math because they can do more math center. Um, during language arts, we do a lot of writing on them. We'll do a lot of our spelling words. We'll go in Spelling City, a website, and take the practice test. Um, they'll write words. Um, a parent volunteer will come, and she'll call out their spelling words, and they'll write them will roll a cube and it'll make, it'll say, ug, and so they'll have to write like bug, rug. Um, I like it down here because they can write on them and draw the place value or write the addition subtraction problems. It's clean, it's neat, everything's right there. Um, they're, they love using them. Um, we've even had a few stories downloaded from Reading A to Z. So one of my reading groups was able to read their level book as a group, they all had an iPad, and we read the book on the iPad. Great. So they loved that.
this is the microphone that I wear around my neck all day and the I have found it to be very useful in the classroom because the children can hear you it's so easy I mean you don't have to raise your voice for the children in the back to hear you I can just talk in my normal voice all day long and they can it's clear so I have really enjoyed it. this was made me very nervous at the beginning of the year <laughs> yes I was you know they were hearing me everywhere and it was yes I had to get used to it and hearing myself so loud in the classroom so when I leave the room I have to turn it off so they're not picked up in the other classrooms and if I forget to turn it on I'll start talking and they're not responding to me the way they normally do and it's because they're not hearing me because I'm just talking in my regular voice and they don't hear me. They're not used to hearing my voice without the microphone now. And I find when I do small groups, I will pull it down a little bit so that everybody is not listening to what we're doing, and then I can pull it up and the whole class can hear again. I would say you're going, you're going to love it because your children are going to love, and you'll see an increase in your engagement within your classroom. Um, I would highly encourage them to go and observe another teacher that has one in their room right now and just start playing with Active Inspire. The only way to learn Active Inspire is to start using it and just go to Promethean Planet and download a flip chart and then just put it up there and start using it with your kids in the classroom. They'll love it. Is there any other comments or anything you'd like to say? I'm not sure I could teach without the technology anymore because <laughs> I, I mean I truly love it. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun, makes learning fun. Because kids are so visual now and used to this type of stuff.